I think I'm growing to like this. A Blucas the Old has outdone himself with another orgasmic three-minute short story. Today, we'll be exploring the teachings of this quote. No one has the authority to govern or improve another without their consent. True progress is a personal endeavor that each must undertake for themselves of their own volition. And thus, the story begins. Simon was a figure marked by an unmistakable narcissistic streak. He viewed himself as somewhat of a guardian and a visionary for the town of Greenwood, a community celebrated for its lush valleys and the cohesive spirit of its inhabitants. Simon prided himself on his self-appointed role as the improver of lives, oblivious to the boundaries of others. His confidence, tipping into arrogance, blinded him to the true impact of his actions on his fellow townspeople. Simon's interventions were not subtle. He saw his neighbor Leo's garden, a chaotic yet deeply loved reflection of Leo's soul, as a project in need of rescue. Without asking Leo's consent, Simon decided to reorganize it, stripping away its character. Then there was Maya, a painter who found solace and expression in her art. Simon was an unrelenting force, pushing her towards the limelight she dreaded, convinced he was setting free her potential. But Greenwood was a community that valued respect and the sanctity of personal journeys. Simon's actions, far from being received as benevolent, were met with growing unease and resentment. The very fabric of community life, built on mutual respect and understanding, began to fray at the edges where Simon imposed his will. Simon started to come undone with his attempt to meddle in the life of Mr. Jasper, an elder whose gentle wisdom was the heartbeat of Greenwood. Unlike others in the community who had found humility and growth in Mr. Jasper's counsel, Simon met his gentle admonitions with defensiveness and scorn. You just don't see the bigger picture like I do, Simon retorted, convinced of his own superiority and righteousness. Simon's narcissistic nature left no room for reflection or growth his inability to see the value in others' perspectives, to recognize the autonomy of his neighbors, or to understand the concept of consent, isolated him. The community's efforts to guide him were repelled by the walls of his ego, and his interventions, once merely nuisances, became intolerable. As the seasons changed in Greenwood, so did the collective patience of its people, Simon found himself more and more isolated, his presence unwelcome. Invitations dried up, conversations halted when he approached, and his name became synonymous with unwarranted interference. Ultimately, Simon, confronted with a mirror reflecting nothing but his own loneliness, made a decision. Greenwood, with its unwavering commitment to mutual respect and personal growth, was no place for someone who could not, or would not, see beyond himself. With no grand exit, no words of farewell, Simon left the town. His departure was met not with sadness, but with a collective sigh of relief, a release from the tension he had woven into the fabric of their daily lives. Greenwood healed in Simon's absence, gardens flourished in their personal chaos, Artists thrived in their chosen seclusion, and the community grew stronger, bound by the lessons learned in the wake of Simon's narcissism. Simon's story became a cautionary tale, a reminder of the destructive power of ego and the importance of living with empathy, respect, and a willingness to grow, not just for oneself, but alongside others. The moral of this story illustrates the destructive consequences of narcissism and the inability to consider and value the perspectives and wishes of others. The tale serves as a cautionary reminder that imposing one's will on others without understanding or respecting their personal boundaries and journeys ultimately leads to isolation and disconnection from the community. True strength and improvement 
lie in the capacity to listen, to change oneself, and to foster an environment where everyone's individuality and autonomy are cherished. Salsack. Share and like. Subscribe and comment.